Alles klar. <lacht> of my own worst daydreams on my way to their hand then still I keep on moving on the path of no return keep on winning as I'm losing watching my bridges burn 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 burn
Yeah, it's the next one. By China, by the black and white, yeah. Windiest time of a windy day. It was a bit stressful. Fast as well. Did you feel any difference the I think so. Yeah. I think it's going quite well. I yeah, if you My social media here. <laughs> and coffee outside. Oh, be shovely, eh? So basically what I'm doing is I'm going through the lockers, trying to sort some things out, put some things in the same place. So wrapping uh, these wine bottles in plastic wrap. So yeah, and then we'll go in there. Increasing the four peak clothes storage to get all of my cluttering. Uh, I've got these old nets which, which we had on Miss Molly, and they're quite good for storing stuff. Because uh, I sleep sort of diagonally there, I can fill that net up, no probs, and uh, it can even hang a bit loose in that, but it might hang loose all the time. Um, and then that'll be good. For example, this brilliant wetsuit. It's just slightly damp, I think. Should go in there, shouldn't it? Should be, yeah. yeah. yeah fine, huh? And I say, I sleep diagonally, so it's not going to bother me there. It gives me quite a lot more clothes storage. So it's time to fit my, um, what a sheet horse come dinghy storage thing. And uh, yesterday we drilled and filled with epoxy and today I've just drilled them out again and now we're going to get some bolts we've got the backing plates down there and uh, Hazel sat there with a the vacuum she's tidying up after my drilling sterling work and we're going to try to fit it we want to just make some loops and lay them around them holes of this shit loops. of this stuff Okay, yeah. yeah. Right, now we're going to lift that up and sit it on there, tidy idy, as we can. Preferably fairly close to the holes. Good. Start with the inside one of the two. Ready. And just nipped is enough. Good. So there it is, it's on, fitted, feels really solid. Clearly I've got to re-route the sheet. Another blustery day. Old sheet horse. Fitted. Some of those other things probably won't get done. The bathroom shelf is hardly important. 
Yeah. Um, jack lines are certainly important. Galley sink fitting is ready to go. Fuel line is the most important of them, isn't it? It is. Yes, that will be next. Yeah, the sun's doing some weird stuff to the camera today. <laughs> it's milky. Ah. Well, we're, as you can tell, up at the boat. Um, we've just spent quite a long time messing around with the foot pump in the heads for the for the galley sink. It's one of those baby whale things and, and it was leaking. And uh, I bought a brand new one, put that on, it leaked as well. So we spent uh, some hours just messing around, trying to work out where it was leaking and mending it, but it looks, fingers crossed, it looks like we've got it now, finally. I cut the ends of the hoses off to get a new bit of hose onto the hose barbs made one pump out of the two so i've got the body of the old one with the new diaphragm on it a new spring in it um various things tightened up the the old ones have screwing hose barbs the new ones have a pushing thing which doesn't seem very good so i've used the old ones and tightened them well up and uh, as i say it seems to be finally tight we hope other things going on, I've done the mast boots, which we'll shoot a little clip of, show you what they look like now. Although it's only the tape, I've put a, a new, it's a, it's a sort of tape that's used actually for roof repairs, but it looks to me to be better than the stuff that's sold for sailboat mast boots. Um, so I'm hopeful about that. And I brought some canvas up today and we're gonna cut some pieces of canvas to cover them with. So that's done. Um, the sheet horse thing you saw, that's on. I've just put the dinghy, the Avon Redcrest, I've put under it. It looks like there might be room enough for the kayak under it as well, which would be really good if that works. And what we're gonna do now is get into the lazarette, empty it out again, and start on that diesel return line back to the fuel tank, which is the last of the big jobs, really. I've brought the wind vane vane section up with me. It's still in the car. We get that fitted. But um, everything else is looking pretty much ready. Uh, so we're getting close. So I've got access to the tank now. And of course, it's hard to remember exactly how it is, but it's good because that's where the return line is going to go in here. I'll see if I can fit my fuel gauge on here. I've got to drill that out and find a fitting, but the fuel line can come through somewhere here, which is good, or even this side, and round into there. Uh, so it's all quite positive, really. I'm going to take that little cover there off next and see when I drill that out, I don't really want the bits dropping into the tank, so maybe I'll have to take that whole cover off to drill it and put it back on again. But it's quite good. All right, so. Let me get the sheet out of the way. That fits. The green one is the dinghy. The grey one is the kayak. They fit so perfectly in there. It's kind of amazing. It's amazing, right? It's very good. <laughs> yeah, we are very pleased. Very pleased for this. Yeah. Don't break anything here. It's all the plastic. I wanted to get that end off of there. I can't. Yeah. What right, kind of a tool it. have you got? Oh, it's filming, isn't it? Yeah. So, this is, as you might tell, a bent spoon. Because I'm going to now drill this return line blank out and try to catch the bits with this brilliant spoon like that. I think it's ingenious. It should work, I think, actually. And you have the vacuum ready to go, Hayes, in a minute. Yeah, right there, so it doesn't fall in there. Oh, well, these two gaskets line up, don't they? They seem to. Yeah, they do. So we've got this fuel gauge, this fuel gauge here that I want to put in there instead of that blank. And it's just a, just a analog fuel gauge. So it's beautiful like that. 
And if I pop that in there, you'll see it even shows us being nearly full, which is dead cool. That'll clear it, and then I'll make a board that covers that so that you lift out to see the fuel gauge, and then that will also clear the return line. So that should be excellent, I think. But there that is, it's the breather pipe here, if you can see that, and the fuel gauge. And I'll just make a little lift off board there that fits in there to cover it. Lift the board out, read the fuel. And here we are, looking in the lazarette. So here is our return line running back to the tank. Well, you can't see the tank, obviously. And it's blanked off where we were going into the fuel. I'll put a blank in there. It looks good and tidy. We're going to run it up. Just bled it. I'm going to run it up and see what happens. Another blustery day, it's April, you know, showers or whatever. Um, I'm sorting out the lazarette, which is starting to look quite tidy. Put that broom handle in there for, well, it's actually a shovel handle for dangling ropes off, looking very good. Hazel is up here cutting sailcloth for the uh, mast boot cover, or the second layer of mast boot, or whatever we wish to describe it as. Going well? Yeah, I think so. Which I've one? made the first layer and now I'm cutting the second one from my mold. Okay, that's for the second mask then, is yeah. it? Yeah. Alright, nice. Yeah, well, so far so good. Hope so. <laughs> it's hopeful. Yeah, that's not jinxing. <laughs> well, we're working hard to get ready to move out to get going, um, and we're getting close. It's still, you know, we're still busy, aren't we? But um, just this time we're going proper, so we need to make sure that we've got everything that we need to take on board with us, and it's, that's a lot of thought because I've been collecting stuff for this trip for years. <laughs> And Hazel's got a few bits she wants to bring uh, for her boat, so um, a few trips bringing it all up and getting ready, but uh, we're getting there. A couple more trips and then the last one, obviously we'll come up on the train so that we're ready to set off, which will be, well, we'll see, as soon as possible, really, as soon as possible. Hopefully in the next, well, within the next week, I would think. It's hard, the weather is very changeable, so we're, we're monitoring predict wind, but um, it's still changing quite a lot, um, the forecast, so it makes it a bit tricky to choose an actual leaving day. But we can do a relative, a 30 mile, a relatively short 30 mile sail up to another marina, which is actually the one I was in before I came down here last year. And we can stop there and wait for the next weather window to do another one day along to the uh, the Kiel Canal. So um, it is possible to do it in one day hops of weather. We will see. Getting ready, anyhow. Working hard. Nearly there. We've done today. We've done the diesel return line. That's all working. We've run the engine up. It all seems to be good. Had to bleed a few times, but that's probably just air trapped in the system. Um, but now it seems to be good. Uh, again, that little foot pump in the heads was leaking. I hope I've got it this time. I've done it again with some sealant on the hose barbs, new clips. We live in hope. I've organized the lazarette with a rail for the ropes to tie off. 
we've got both the dinghy and the kayak in the sheet horse thing so that's brilliant the lazarette now looks like it's got room um so that is great i might make a little holder for, i've got a danforth anchor in there i might make a little holder for that to get that up out of the way and secure it which would be a good thing um, but yeah, we're getting on. What else have we done today? Is that about it? See, obviously we bought loads of stuff out of the car and stowed it, which is a regular sort of... Oh, you cut the, the sailcloth for the mast boots. So they're ready to go, we hope. Um, we've got the tape on. We've fitted a, basically a roofing tape we've used instead of the, the boat, the self-amalgamating boat expensive stuff they sell, which didn't seal 100%. It would sell sealed quite well but it certainly wasn't perfect and this roofing stuff looks a lot better and so far it rained it's rained and the, the masts have been completely dry so looking good and we're just going to put some sailcloth over that just to give it another layer of protection really so that's coming on well and uh yeah nearly ready and there we go that's it for this week thanks for watching as ever massive massive thank you to the lovely people who support us on patreon via PayPal you guys you really make these videos possible and of course I try to get something up there of short videos behind the scenes things every few weeks so if other people are interested they should get over there check it out and uh, also it's a good way to uh, if you want to ask questions or one-to-one -one communication Patreon is a good way to do that all right see you next time bye <laughs>